Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will introduce you to a field that applies quantum principles to improve the precision and accuracy of measurements and sensors. This field is called quantum metrology. Imagine that you want to measure the length of a hair, the time of a heartbeat, the temperature of a cup of coffee, or the magnetic field of a magnet. How would you do it? You would probably use some device or method that can detect or quantify these physical quantities, such as a ruler, a stopwatch, a thermometer, or a compass. These devices or methods are called measurements or sensors, and they are very useful and important for science and technology. However, measurements and sensors are not perfect. They have some limitations and errors that affect how close their output is to the true value of the physical quantity. These limitations and errors are called uncertainty or noise, and they can come from various sources, such as the device itself, the environment, or the measurement process. Uncertainty or noise can reduce the precision and accuracy of measurements and sensors. Precision is the degree of repeatability or consistency of the output, while accuracy is the degree of correctness or agreement of the output with the true value. How can we improve the precision and accuracy of measurements and sensors? One way is to use quantum systems, such as atoms, photons, or electrons, to perform measurements and sensors with enhanced precision and accuracy. Quantum systems have properties that depend on quantum mechanics, such as superposition, entanglement, interference, or squeezing. These properties can be exploited to create quantum states or quantum resources that are more sensitive or responsive to the physical quantity of interest than classical states or classical resources. This is the idea behind quantum metrology, which is a field that applies quantum principles to improve the precision and accuracy of measurements and sensors. Quantum metrology uses quantum systems to perform measurements and sensors with enhanced precision and accuracy. One of the most important concepts in quantum metrology is the quantum Kramer I.O. bound, which is a fundamental limit on the precision of any measurement or sensor that uses a quantum state or a quantum resource. The quantum Kramer I.O. bound depends on the quantum Fisher information, which is a measure of how much information the quantum state or the quantum resource carries about the physical quantity of interest. The higher the quantum Fisher information, the lower the quantum Kramer I.O. bound, and the higher the precision. Quantum metrology aims to find and use quantum states or quantum resources that have high quantum Fisher information and low quantum Kramer I.O. bound for different measurements and sensors. Some examples of such quantum states or quantum resources are entangled states or squeezed states. Entangled states are quantum states that have correlations between two or more subsystems that cannot be explained by classical physics. Squeeze states are quantum states that have reduced uncertainty in one observable at the expense of increased uncertainty in another observable. Quantum metrology has many applications and advantages in various fields of science and technology. For instance, quantum metrology can help improve the resolution or sensitivity of interferometers, which are devices that use interference of light or matter waves to measure small displacements, distances, angles, or phases. Quantum metrology can also help improve the accuracy or stability of clocks, which are devices that use periodic oscillations of atoms or ions to measure time intervals or frequencies. Quantum metrology can also help improve the performance or functionality of thermometers, magnetometers, gravimeters, gyroscopes, accelerometers, or biosensors. Quantum metrology is an active area of research that faces many challenges and opportunities. Some of the current research topics include finding new ways of generating and manipulating entangled states or squeezed states for different measurements and sensors, developing new methods of detecting and characterizing entangled states or squeezed states and their outputs, exploring the limits and trade-offs of entangled states or squeezed states in terms of noise, decoherence, loss, or imperfections, and discovering new phenomena and applications enabled by entangled states or squeezed states in various domains thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos on quantum physics and technology see you next time